this is my collective Walmart haul for March. It was $300. Just kidding. I'm actually going to have to look at my receipt. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was two something. But it was basically a lot more because I had a lot of high priced items. Even though my haul is relatively small. And you'll be able to see those items reflected as we go along. This is my bread chair. I love to get these sub rolls. They're $4. You get 24 6 inch rolls. These are amazing for different sandwiches. I love these so much, so I got a package of these. I have three loaves of honey wheat and then one loaf of Texas toast. I like having one of these in the house throughout the month. I make French toast out of these, or more often than not, um, I'll make like really fat <laughs> hot ham and cheeses with these, or I'll just throw them in the oven with a little bit of cheese and we'll have that on the side when we do spaghetti and stuff. So I like having one of these loaves just because they're so versatile. I can do like a hundred different things with them and Texas toast is just really fat toast. So let's just go through this stuff quick because this is where the big bulk of my money went. Fabric softener, my OxyClean. I love this stuff so much. I go through one of these big ones a month. Need more dishwasher tabs, 60 tablets. This should last me a month, maybe a little over that. Scent boosters. I've never used this calming one before, but I thought this would be nice to wash our sheets in and stuff. So I think this will last me a long time. This is $9. I'm assuming that'll last me a couple months, especially if I'm only washing sheets in it. And then these are the ones that we use regularly. These Downy Unstoppables, we enjoy the fresh scent. But got some of those, ran out. And then of course my other big money item was our pull-ups and diapers. These will last me the whole month. Uh, we have multiple children who use these and I cannot wait for the day I no longer have to buy these but still a thing right now these don't come out of my grocery budget I have a household budget but I figured I'd just show you these anyways I wanted some spring scents for my wax melter so I got this lemon blueberry donuts it smells just like blueberry muffins it smells really good I got the small package because I had never tried it before and I did order these online so I didn't actually smell these but I figured this one would be good so I got that one this is one they substituted I'm not crazy about the scent but it does smell good something different um, it almost smells like linen or like fresh laundry which isn't terrible and then of course I got lilac which is like my favorite spring scent so I got a big thing of that as well so normally I get two packages of string cheese to last me the whole month for my three kids but little dude right here just is flying through the string cheese recently you want one you say please no. no we ran through a whole month of string cheese in like three days i'm not even kidding so i got an extra package this time these gogurts i normally get two they didn't have any so i only got one so I, when i go back in the mid-month haul i'm gonna need to get more of those for sure the broads were a substitution i wanted brat patties they didn't have them which is fine i already got brats at aldi so I'll just have a lot of brats this month and I'll probably switch that meal out for something else. I don't want to eat brats like four times this month. Stew meat, I split this into multiple meals, usually two, just because it's expensive, but I like to have the different form of meat every once in a while. So I did this last month for the first time in a while. It worked out well. A package of cheese, ravioli. These are pretty cheap. They're like $4, I think. They're really quick to cook and they're really nice to have for lunches on the weekends or just a really quick dinner. With the tortellini, these cook in three minutes in boiled water. I got the family-sized package of these because I also have a soup that I use these in. They're just nice to have in the freezer, so I like to have those on hand. I'm coming to the end of my basil and I wanted to get one before I completely ran out. These pizza crusts we're really enjoying recently. They're really shelf-stable, so if I don't get to them this month, it's totally fine. But you just add water and oil. A uh, couple things of cheese for burgers and stuff, sandwiches. So a couple things of those. This is mild cheddar. Colby Jack. I got a package of Canadian bacon. I already have some pepperoni in my freezer. These are for homemade, homemade pizzas this month. I have four of these little pizza crusts, and I don't actually use these for pizza. I use these as basically pre-made dough. I use these for strombolis, calzones, or pasties. They just save me a lot of time. A big thing of Cheerios. One of my daughters and my husband fly through Cheerios, so I got one last month and needed another one. My husband also really likes Raisin Bran, so I got a bag of Raisin Bran. I always ask my kid for snack requests, and my oldest daughter requested these Scooby-Doo snacks. And my second daughter requested these Mickey Mouse uh, little ice cream things. They're like $6 for six of them, so they're really pricey, but just something fun for the kids. That's my 
Walmart half of my haul. I'll link my Aldi portion of my March haul down below as well as my meal plan if you want to see any of these meals in action. I do what's for dinners all the time too, so those will be shared with our meals throughout the month. So I totally forgot about this pile. It's actually the next morning, but we also got two things of ramen noodles. My oldest could eat this every single meal, every single day for the rest of her life. I try to limit it though because these obviously aren't the best for her, but I got two 12 packs of these for her for whenever she, she desires. I also got a thing of paper towels. I've been getting these a lot more recently because our dog actually had a litter of puppies. So we have seven cute little puppies and obviously that comes with puppy mess. And the best thing to clean that up with is obviously paper towels. So for the next couple of weeks probably, I will be continuing to buy paper towels. I don't like to because I think they're super wasteful. That's just my personal opinion. They're something I cut out of my life about two years ago, but I still buy them a handful of times a year, usually around the holidays. Uh, but for now, they are back in my life for the purpose of puppy messes, basically. I also tried these Walmart brand Flex Strong trash bags. I got them because I wanted to try them. They're like half the price of Glad bags. They also come in different scents. They're amazing. They're 13 gallons, you get 120 bags. There are two huge rolls of trash bags in this box. This lasts me literally forever and I think it's like $11. It's a great deal. I love these. Uh, I don't remember what scent I got. Fresh cotton, but they also have lavender, tropical scents. For things like that, they're basically just knockoff Glad bags and they're a quarter of the price. So give these a try if you're looking to save a little bit on trash bags. I tried these for the first time a couple of months ago. I actually filmed a shop with me that day. I can link it here for you guys, but I have not gone back since. Like I said, this 120 bags will usually last me somewhere between like two and three months. I still have one big roll left underneath my sink right now, but I got this bag or this box just in case I run out and I need more. And if nothing else, I'll just put this down in my basement and pull it up when I run out of trash bags and I'll have them. But uh, amazing. That's what helps me shop once a month is I try to have an extra of everything. So when I run out, I don't need to run to the store and then it stops like impulse buys and buying random things that I don't need. But this rounds out the rest of my haul. I will go back uh, probably in about a week for more milk and that should be it. And then in the middle of the month, I'll go back and get more milk again and probably some fresh fruit or vegetables and anything else that we run out of that we need. Sometimes it's like sour cream or yogurt or something like that. But that basically ends my grocery shopping for the month minus a couple of random things here and there sprinkled throughout the next couple of weeks. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low.